This is your science lesson for Monday the 25th of January. We are going to be thinking about light and how light helps us to see. So these are some of the things, they won't all be happening this lesson, but these are the, some of the things that we're going to be thinking about during the whole topic. So the aim is that you can explain that light travels in straight lines from light sources into our eyes and from light sources to objects and then into our eyes. Hopefully you know already that light travels in straight lines and that light goes into our eyes. Um, some of the things that you might be able to do, depending on what resources you've got at home and how helpful your family members are, I'm hoping that you'll be able to demonstrate and show somebody that light travels in straight lines. I'm hoping you'll be able to create a simple model to show how light travels from a light source into our eyes or from an object and then into our eyes and that you'll be able to explain to someone how we see things. Okay, so let's have a look. Some of this will be revision, hopefully. Hopefully you remember doing light and shadows in year three. Um, so, where does light come from? So have a little think for a moment. Maybe tell somebody if you're working with somebody. Where does light come from? Pause the video. Okay. Light seems to be all around us, but where does it actually come from? Now, this is what I want you to actually stop and do, or after the video, I want you to do it. I want you to write down and draw as many different light sources as you can. Now, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to split up your page and think about man-made light sources and natural light sources. Okay, so give you a few, a few clues. Our biggest light source that we have, obviously, is the sun. So none of us could survive without the sun. That's our biggest light source that we've got. Obviously, that's a natural light source. So there we've got fire as well. And then we've got a light bulb. So obviously some very, very common light sources, light sources that possibly we see every day. We definitely use light bulbs every day. Obviously see the sun every day. Um, maybe you use candles, see candles. So you've all seen one, obviously. So just either pause the video or after the video, get your page and think of as many different light sources as you can. Have a think about which ones are naturally occurring and which ones are man-made. Okay, so that's your first task. What I'll do is I will put, as always, in the description of the video, I'll put some links that can show you lots of things to help you with doing that. Okay. Now, some things just reflect light, so be careful. Some things look like they're a light source, like they're making their own light, because that's all a light source is, it's making light, but actually they're just reflecting it. And the moon is a classic one. At night time, it looks like the moon is making light, but the moon is just a piece of rock. So it can't make its own light. It's just reflecting the light from the sun. Hopefully you know that, but you might not. If you didn't, I hope you've learned something. So, thinking about light traveling from a light source. And how does it travel from a light source? Well, we did say at the beginning, light travels in straight lines. And there's a really good image there showing us light actually traveling in straight lines. But how does it actually help us to see? So light is a type of energy known as electric magnetic radiation. It's made up of photons, which are little particles of energy. Light does travel as a wave, but unlike waves of water or sound waves, it doesn't need any sort of medium to travel through. This means that light could actually travel in a vacuum, a completely airless space. Light waves travel from the source of light in a straight line. These lines are called rays or beams of light. Now in your pack you have a torch and you can do all sorts of experiments with that and you can actually show and see that light is traveling in a straight line and obviously that's a man-made light source obviously. So how does light actually help us to see? Well the rays of light travel from the light source and they hit the objects around us the rays of light reflect or bounce off an object and then travel into our eyes. And that allows us to see objects. So let's have a little look here and it will show us travelling from the light bulb onto an object, bouncing off the object. OK, so it travels in a straight line. It hits the chair, bounces off and goes into our eyes. So that's meant to represent the light travelling in a straight line, bouncing off the object, going into our eyes to help us to see. And as you know, if you switch off all the lights, you can't see anything. We need light to see, don't we? 
very, very important. So you can try that as well. Have a look what happens to your pupils. It's really, really interesting, actually. When you've sat in the dark for a little while or when you've closed your eyes for a little while and you open them, have a mirror ready and have a look what's happened to your pupils. Because your pupils, your pupils want to let in as much light as possible so they do get bigger and smaller. So it's really, really interesting, actually. Okay, so there we go. The ray of light is reflecting off the chair, travelling in a straight line into the girl's eyes, enabling her to see the chair. So this again, pause the video, this is something else that I would like you to draw. And again, I'll put links in the description for the video. I would like you to draw light travelling in straight lines from the light source, hitting an object and into our eyes, enabling us to see. Now there's a final bit, this would be a lot easier in school, but if you're really, really clever, what I'd like you to get, do is have a go at modelling it. So this is your final task and this is all set out as if you would be doing it in school. So when it says get a partner or, or any of those sorts of things, you're going to have to get a willing member of your family. So it says here working in a group. Well, obviously we can't do that like we would normally in class. So you're going to have to get some willing members of your family. And what I want you to do really is just act it out and model it with people using string. Okay. And obviously you can't show it to the class, but talk about it with your family. Try and model it with your family, okay, using string to show how light is travelling in a straight line from the light source, hitting an object and then going into your eyes. So a few tasks there that you can be getting on with year six. Some of it will be revision. And always look in the description under the video for other things to click on, other little videos to watch to help you with your understanding of this. Thinking about light and how we see things knowing that light travels in straight lines, knowing that light travels from a light source and having a little think about natural and man-made light sources. So lots to think about hopefully, but super interesting stuff. Okay, good luck year six.